What is this metal chain with a bar on it, too small to fit a wrist? Owned by a man who was an engineer in the UK in the early to mid-1900s. A silvery metal, with irregularly sized chain links, approximately 13 grams. Any ideas? It's not a watch chain, it's a necktie chain. Engineers and architects used to wear these, so that their ties wouldn't get in the way, or smudge drawings while drafting. What are these two leather straps that can be adjusted like a normal belt for pants? Wood beams are 17 centimeters apart. Each is 38 centimeters long, and they are parallel, but at an angle relative to the desk. It's a South African military desk. The legs detach, but the drawers don't latch closed. The whole thing is pretty heavy. It's some proper solid wood. Any ideas? It's called a campaign desk. Military desks need to be easy to transport. Those straps are just for storing the legs in transit. My great-grandmother had a sewing desk that had straps very similar to these to store the legs, so it could be put in the closet when not in use. What is this thing? It's fully wooden, too short to be a table, too wide to be a bench. I found it at a farmer's market. The round spines around the top section twist around. Both ornamental pieces are only visible from the front. It was suggested to be a type of bassinet that possibly pushes against a bed. Any ideas? It's an Indian elephant seat called howda. It's placed on top of an elephant to sit on, or occasionally some other animal such as a camel. It was used most often in the past to carry wealthy people during progress or processions, hunting, or in warfare. What is this non-magnetic shiny metal bowl with a shiny metal stick? It is heavy for its size. The bowl is 6 pounds, 4.5 inches tall, and 4 inches wide including the lip. It has no markings. The stick is almost 8 inches long. It was found at a thrift store, and my curiosity would not let me leave without it. Any ideas? It's a brass mortar and pestle. This type is very popular in the Middle East for crushing up saffron. What is this thing? Made of solid brass. They stack or fit inside each other. Four pieces but maybe missing some. The lid has a small hole in the side of it. I thought maybe it was an incense burner or something. But there's no incense smell. I got it at an estate sale for a quarter. What is their function? It's an antique Chinese brass nesting bowls. Probably from the 1890s. I'm not sure of the original intention. But mostly they use it as an ashtray. What are these wooden tools about the size of my hand? They were all in a wooden box. They are hand-sized tools, apparently Chinese. They were offered a long time ago to my family, and they didn't describe the purpose of the things. Thanks for your help. Looks like a wooden tea ceremony set. The set of tools for practicing the ancient art of the tea ceremony. Though it originated in China, the tea ceremony has become one of the most quintessentially Japanese experiences. It sees the simple task of preparing a drink for a guest elevated to an art form, an intricate series of movements performed in strict order, and appreciated by the recipient. What is this chain with two handles that fit together? Found in a toolbox belonging to my grandfather. My grandpa was a military police in the 50s. Maybe it was something he carried and used. Any ideas? I have one of those things too. It's a vintage police restraint chain or a police officer chain nippers. I got it from my father who was a cop in the 1960s. It's closed around the wrist and twisted as far as possible. If the person tries to raise his arm it is really painful. Also over twisting causes pain and makes the person compliant. What is this long pronged metal utensil? I found it in grandma's kitchen located in upstate New York. 24 inches long with holes at the tips. A number 5 is on the side. And it says Cedarville and printed in the metal. Searched several places for long pronged utensils and five pronged utensils with no results. Cedarville is in upstate New York. But there are several others. Ages unknown. But she had lots of vintage kitchenware. What is it? It's a cheese curd cutter, probably from the mid to late 1800s. Its blades are thin steel, with sharp edges on both sides. 
What is this small metal box possibly silver? I cannot make out what it says on top at all. I think maybe if I could read whatever it says on top that might be a clue. But I'm completely stuck. I think it also has a number on the side of it. Like 300 or something. Not sure what else to say about it. It looks like an old snuff box. I can't make out the writing either. But I'd guess it's a brand name possibly. Snuff boxes were used for containing snuff. A mixture of ground tobacco and scented oils. And were very popular in the 18th century when snuff taking was fashionable. Highly decorated and valuable objects. They became collector's items in the 19th century. What are these stacked empty large squares carved into the mountains in Cinque Terre, Italy? I am currently visiting Cinque Terre, and at the very top of one of the mountains near Monterosso, are these massive carved squares that are stacked on top of each other. They are the exact same size and shape. There are exactly 12 squares and it's hard to see the scale in the picture, but they are certainly massive. I have been trying to figure out what their purpose is, as there's absolutely no foot traffic or car traffic at all up there. Any ideas? That is a supporting structure construction with multiple square shapes, net holding a rocky cliff and preventing falling rocks from the city area in Monterosso Almar. What are these things? Two steel parts. And one has a chain attached. I think the small part goes on the chain. It looks like an anchor to me. Any ideas? I have a set and use them in my line of work. They are called ladder jacks. You need two sets of them, and they hang on different rungs on an extension ladder, and you run a plank between the two ladders for access to hard-to-reach areas. What is this wooden object found in a bin? Half circle with multiple holes on each side. Can be opened and closed, and has leather hinges. Seems old and handmade. Around 30 centimeters wide. The object doesn't really seem to be made to fully open up till it's a flat surface. The leather hinges prevent that from happening, forcing it would tear them. Also, the shape seems a bit strange for a table as it becomes a bit narrower in the middle. What is it? It's a frame for a tote used to hold an embroidery, knitting, crochet, or a similar project. In my grandmother's day it was popular to use cruel embroidery to make thick sturdy fabric panels for the tote. Or the panels were cut from store-bought tapestry fabric. The panels were sewn together to form a bag, and then the bag was sewn onto a frame similar to this. The bag was often lined with sturdy fabric to keep crochet hooks and knitting needles from poking through. What is this glass piece on a metal frame with switches pipes and wires? Found in an abandoned cardboard factory. Old looking and no marking other than operating instructions, and a small plaque stating a power rating of 5 kilowatts at 240 volts. The front switches are labeled water, operate and off. What is it? It's a corning water still. I had one in my lab exactly like it. It's for making distilled water from tap water. They're hot and steamy, somewhat loud, and you'd probably want it to have its own dedicated drain. There's a lot of cooling and condensing water going through it. What is this rectangular black metal container? Has one of the sides left open, revealing a pull cord attached to some sort of folded fabric. The fabric is bolted to a bracket that is created by extending and then bending the metal. That makes up one side of the box. Possibly aviation gear. Please tell us in the comments. Thanks for watching. Let's make life fun.